thing I know. It was like I was there once, single parents, hate your appearance. Did you struggle to find your place in this world? And the pain spawns all the anger. Hey guys, what is up? And all here today bringing you guys another cartoon creepypasta. So in this cartoon creepypasta, we're going to be talking about the Looney Tunes show. And uh, me and my girlfriend have both read through this creepy pasta and we both enjoy it so i hope you guys enjoy it as much as possible but before i get into it i want to tell you that a girl named liddy allen on instagram is the one who suggested me this kind of she actually suggested a uh, baby looney tunes creepy pasta and i've been looking for weeks and couldn't find one so i just went ahead and decided to do this one instead and as said it's pretty inter interesting Sorry guys. So if you guys uh, enjoy it, be sure to hit that like button below and also be sure to hit that subscribe button below. It helps me out. It helps everybody out in a way. I mean, it helps me out. You guys hit the subscribe button. It notifies you guys when I'm uh, upload. And yeah, so we're going to get into this. It says here that the following entries were found from a journal of a man who was brutally murdered. His name is not mentioned to protect his identity. June 4th, 2011. As a kid, I loved the Looney Tunes. It was my favorite show. And hearing of the remake, the Looney Tunes show, I didn't know what to think. It looked like the jokes were lame, the plots were rushed, and nothing like the original. The first episode I watched was a pretty good one, the one with Bugs and Lola. The next day, I was sent a message by a friend who shared my interest. It was a link to a video and the message said only a true fan can handle their twisted versions. I didn't know what to think. As I got to the video, it was flagged. I said, okay, and signed in. I noticed something odd. The views were only six, so how could it have been inappropriate? Who knows? When it got to the video, the sc screen for five seconds, then it cut to Bugs and Daffy's house. They were moving around as if they were talking, but they said nothing. Their mouths were not even moving. Then I noticed an anonymous mask in the window. It was emotionless. The sky was also black, representing night. They kept moving, simulating that they were speaking and making gestures. There was also a sound like a reversed electric guitar note, and it kept playing throughout the whole thing. Then I saw two people. They were both white, female teenagers who were gagged. Then I saw both of them shaking as if they were laughing. Then the two girls were set on fire, but they weren't cartoon looking. They were the real deal. Then they started shaking faster as if they were sped up. Then it cut to Bugs whose mouth was gone. Then it cut to Dan. Oh. Then I heard some piano music and it was, it was odd though. It didn't seem as if it fit and it was just off. Then Daffy looked angry as if his family had just been killed. Then it cut to Bugs, who was now speaking, but he was still covering his mouth, on which I saw green substance smeared around, escaping. His eyes were now invisible, same with his ears. Then Daffy was designed differently. His beak was gone and replaced with a simple slap on mouth. His eyes were also slanted. Then it cut to Bugs, who was now shaking, violently. His face was gone and it had, and it had a hint of red to it. The episode then had dialogue. But the video is replaced with some text. If only you knew the power that one human can be capable of. I laughed slightly because this obviously had nothing to do with the show so far. Then my speakers exploded with sound. Even when I muted them, they were still making noise. Then the dialogue returned, but with one flaw. It was reversed. So I recorded the video, reversed it, and this is what it said. Bugs. Nobody realizes that one man can destroy the world. Daffy. Humans are just too cowardly. All these nukes, all this power, and they just waste it. There was muffled screaming in the background, followed by crackling fire. Bugs, do you think we should end these sad, pitiful lives? Daffy, of course. Bugs, and we were cartoon legends. Daffy, ha ha ha. Screams were heard in the background. They both laughed and it cut to black. A notification popped up saying that the internet had to be closed. I then went back to my history and everything was gone. My computer then shut off in about two seconds, then it turned back on in an instant. Every single thing on my computer was gone. Then the floor started to rumble. It was an earthquake. Countless hours later, the news said that Kentucky was nuked, and I live in Florida. It is unknown who did it, but it was related to the video. June 5th, 2011. 
Today I was walk I was just walking around town finding that I had some change left and since I was getting thirsty I decided to get a drink so I went to the nearest convenience store and got a soda. The cashier was acting oddly. He said, "Hey, what do you want? A machete to kill the bitch who nuked Kentucky?" Then he paused and sighed as if he was about to say something else. During those seconds that felt like days, I was cheerfully just breathing heavily feeling scared like I was the one in the dark since when did they sell machetes at convenience stores? Then he spoke again. Sorry, my brother was on vacation in Kentucky when it got nuked. Well, that is all I have to say for now. It is midnight and I need to try to get some sleep. June 8th, 2011. I wasn't able to update my journal recently. I was very busy when I found a VHS tape. The label read The Looney Tunes Show, The Universe Ends, Copyright, 1999. 1999, what does that even mean? I went to my friend's house with a VHS tape. He told me that the tape had the exact episode that I saw. He got me the email of a friend of his aunt who is the CEO at Cartoon Network. Bye for now. June 11th, 2011. I emailed the CEO. It was about 9.23 in the morning. I saw a mysterious gray figure murdering my friend while I was getting my newspaper. I couldn't believe it. When I caught the gray figure's gaze, it was creepy. His eyes were just dark, hollow holes, and he was holding up a bloody scalpel. He pointed to me, to it, with his big claw on his other hand and nodded as if to tell me that I was next. I bolted away, just packed my things into my van and, and abandoned my house. I have all that I need in my van. Oh, and about the email, here's the exact email word for word. Hey, about that Looney Tunes show episode that was the first episode made by a maniac that worked in Cartoon Network Studios for three years. In 99, his final year, he suggested this show to us. After rejecting it two times, he made this violent episode. We actually burned the original copy. We have no idea how your friend rediscovered it. The writer was found dead in his house. Someone had apparently thrown a pipe bomb at him, then slit his wrists eight times. Alright guys, so yeah, this was kind of a short creepypasta, but um, as said, if you guys have enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button. Also, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It helps me out as said, and it helps you guys out at the same time by notifying you guys whenever I upload a video. Um, so with that said, I hope you guys really did enjoy, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.